This recording was made on July 28, 2013. I had started putting two face masks on the horses so they couldn't see the images being projected. I, it's the only recreation I had. I, I didn't want to give it up. I still was hopeful that someday my grandchildren would be able to visit me and ride with me on my horse trail on the horses that I raised and trained for them. But if things just deteriorated. You can see with this trail ride that um, they had intensified the projections because my horses weren't reacting like they used to before I started using the face masks. You can see full-fledged lasers, what I would call it. And that blue light, I don't know what that is. I would never have been able to ride this horse without the mask. Oh, good. And as you can see, the sky is that funny color that when they're playing the game, that it's always that color. So I will show you the stills from that. See how it's that color, that real light color? And all these images, it's like it's a cone projecting images. And in the sky, that looks like, oh, it's a part of it. I, you can analyze this, the sky as much as you can, what's happening on the ground. But uh, it all has to do with this. looks like little animals here over there. That's Varley's place, where they live, right there. And here's their other place, over here. And this is where Shover's Rock Quarry is. So, we'll finish in it. You can see the reflections off of the steel buildings and uh, unusual panels. Looks like faces, they light up. So we'll look at the stills. You can see the uneven ground, or its images projected on the ground, that makes my horses believe that the ground is rough and they have to step out, frightens them. There's a laser beam, and it's like a cone being projected, so the drones above it and it's a cone of images. This one is interesting because you can see there's something in this blue image. So we'll go ahead and... It's like the image of a man in an outfit and Got a projection of himself or something in front of him. That's how intricate this game is. And here's a man's face over here. So whether when those lasers strike, they're actually um, images from this game. And here is the sky. It gets a real funny color. And so I darken it, and then you can tell when the images are being projected. And they're starting to form. You can see the same images as before over here, but not so much back there. I'll bring it down. These are the top of the trees and buildings, and these images are all above that level. I can see cartoon characters in that. The next one.
It's forming more. Here's a man's face visible back here and an onslaught of images, roaring horses and cartoon characters all across the horizon. All I did was darken it. But when these images are projected, the sky is always that really funny color. Now the images are fading away. Here's a laser. Strike right on my horse's ear. And another one. I would have never been able to ride this horse if it weren't for that mast. Here I just darkened that same picture and this is where you can see the images in the sky. Starting to form again. I don't know what that is taking off. There's a lot more of the images. You can see faces, people, animals. It's a lot more unique. Oh, there's perfect lips right there. There are times the entire sky around my acreage is just big faces and images. And it's fading away. There's a big laser strike. And a big area where you can see that same, oh, like a, a rainbow projection. Um, the sky is really light again. There's a sky above, and then here I darkened, darkened it. Just the sky. Here, here's Barley's farm buildings up here. This is the top of the trees, and their barn is right there. This is above. It's huge. And again, this is even better. Here's a farm, Barley's farm buildings. And over there. And you can see the cavalry in this one if you kind of use your imagination. And then the next one is fading away. The blasts, they're, they're pulsating. They're intense. And you can see it coming. It's there. And then the next frame is fading away. And there's their buildings. And the panels and the reflections. It's what you call drone infrared gaming. And anybody that watches this that doesn't understand that they're doing this to intentionally hurt me in a trail riding accident is a very silly person. <laughs>